back to my channel. My name is Maria and this week I want to show you guys my realistic nighttime routine. I've seen a lot of nighttime routines where girls are like, I put on every candle in my house and then I do some yoga and then I blow out all my candles and I go to bed without looking at my phone and like all this stuff that just doesn't make any sense. So I thought I would show you guys my real nighttime routine because we keep it real over here on this channel. It's like a weekend nighttime routine, let me tell you. It's not like, this is not what I do on a school night. The school night, it's much less relaxed. There's a lot of crying that happens, but we'll push that to the side for now. So this is like my weekend nighttime routine. So I just had dinner, it was a feast. I like to keep my meals really small during the day, um, like breakfast and lunch. I don't like to get too loaded up, I don't like to get too heavy, but dinner, I like to go hard and then I always go hard on dessert. I can never not have dessert. It's like a problem, but I just go with it. Also, can we appreciate the fact that this is the first sunny day in Michigan in like a hundred years? Look at this, hold on. Anyway, so yeah, it's really nice outside and I've really been loving it because I just got back from Cancun and I'm like back in my state of seasonal depression. Like I hate it here and I get really upset during the winter. So it's nice to have a sunny day. It was also 50 today. Like who is she? I don't know her. It's currently 618 PM or if you're on military time, it's 1818. That's pretty nice. And I am about to do what I do every single night, which is sit on the couch with my parents for three hours and watch TV and YouTube. So I actually was in Cancun for a week. That's why I'm tan. That's why I actually look good for once. When I was in Cancun, I missed every single show. So I'm about to catch up. I'm going to catch up on Survivor. Winners at War, because that show is my ish right now. I'm going to catch up on The Flash. Supergirl, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, The Resident, The Good Doctor, and any other YouTube that I may have missed in between all those shows. So for the next three hours, I will not be moving. I will be in the same spot on my couch, and maybe I'll update you. Normally 7.30 is when I have ice cream. Peace out, everyone. I'm finally peeling myself off this couch. It's been three hours. This is what I do with this is what I do with mom and dad. I, I sit I sit on the couch. Welcome to our lives. Okay you guys, so it's currently you can't even see my clock is so dimmed. Oh there we go. It's currently 8.58. Which means it's time for me to go to bed because I'm a grandma. But when I say I like go to bed, I get ready for bed. It takes about 20 minutes. And then I watch TikTok or YouTube for like another two hours. So this is just the beginning, my friends. For the first part of my nighttime routine, I change into my pajamas. I know it looks like I'm already in pajamas, but this is just my lounging suit. I would get way too hot if I wore this at night. Fun fact about me, I don't really know if you care, but I get like insanely hot at nighttime. It's actually like ridiculous. So I have to sleep in explicitly shorts and short sleeves. So I'm gonna change. Ready, I'm gonna jump. It's gonna be really fast for you, but it's gonna actually take me like five minutes, but here we go. See, like it was super fast for you, but it was like really slow for me. But anyway, this is my sleeping shirt. I got it at Cancun. It says emergency rum on the back. It's from Margaritaville. But anyway, this is my sleep shirt. I hope you guys like it. Now I spit out my gum because I chew gum 24-7. And I tie my hair back with one of my various scrunchies. I'm gonna go for this one because it matches my shirt. Actually, no, this one matches a little bit better. So now I'm gonna brush my teeth. I use an electric toothbrush because my dentist told me that they're more effective than regular teeth brushes. And I use Colgate Total White because it was on sale at Costco. So now I brush my teeth. This is very interesting, I know. So this is when I brush my teeth. Normally when I'm going to wear it. Wait, maybe I should wait until I brush my teeth. Hold on. Teeth have been brushed. Normally I'm getting ready for bed and listen to some chill music. I have a really awesome playlist on Spotify. So now I take off my Apple Watch because I don't want to get wet when I wash my face. And I wash my hands. This is my soap. Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint because I still... I'm not ready for Christmas to be over. And I wash my hands really good because we don't want the coronavirus on our face. And now I'm washing my face with the Soy Fresh Face Cleanser. 
I used to swear by Origins Tricks and Balances, but if you watched my latest Obsessions video or my Get Ready With Me, I talked about this cleanser. It's become my new favorite. It's really gentle. It's really soft. And it's honestly kept my skin super duper clear, even though I went to Cancun and like traveling and the humidity and the clogged pores, even through everything, it helped keep my skin super clear. So now that I exfoliated that in, I like to exfoliate it in for like one minute or so. I'm going to wash it out of my face. Now... I pat dry. This is my towel. Um, I have a special towel that I use only for my face. I don't like to mix my hand towels with my face towel because when I like go to the bathroom, I wash my hands and then I don't want to wipe my face with the towel I use to wash my hands because that would be gross. Okay, so now I'm gonna tone my skin. I actually haven't toned in a while, but tonight I feel like it's so we're gonna do it. Origins, a perfect world tea tree toner. And I'm going in with a cotton round. I actually saw these really cool, like reusable cotton rounds. And I wanna try them out because I waste so much trash using a cotton round every night to tone my face. So I wanna try the reusable ones, but I feel like that's really like germy. I don't know. Leave, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried them and if they've spread bacteria on your face because I'm genuinely curious or if you just know if they spread bacteria. And now I do my moisturizer. I use the sister moisturizer to that product, The Origins. Again, Make a Difference Plus Ultra Rich Rejuvenation Cream. Swear by this stuff. Love it. Tip, if you use your knuckle instead of your finger, it won't get the product trapped under your nail. I saw that on TikTok. It's a great hack for anyone wondering. And now I'm gonna put on some lip moisturizer. I'm not out of the Laneige lip mask. It's just in my carry-on and I'm too lazy to get it out. So I'm going in with the Vaseline Cocoa Lip Therapy. It's actually a great dupe to Laneige if you can't afford it or if it's like, you can't justify spending $34 on a lip balm. Cause I said 30, I feel like it, maybe it's 12. I don't know how expensive it is, but this is a great dupe to that product. If you're looking for something a little bit on the cheaper side. So the next step of my routine, I'm actually not going to show you because that'd be weird, but this is my Lush Dream Cream and I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my whole body. I'll show you on my hands. This stuff is amazing. I'm almost out of it. I have the self-preserving one. It's the thickest moisturizer you'll ever see. I actually really need it right now. My skin is super dry, but it's this amazing moisturizer and it does such a good job getting my skin nice and luscious. And I literally love doing this in my nighttime routine. There's something so relaxing about rubbing moisturizer into your body. That sounds really weird. But anyway, I love this one and it has lavender in it. So like the scent makes me fall asleep. So I love it. It's made of oat milk, olive oil, rose water, cocoa butter, chamomile, lavender, so all those awesome things that like make you fall asleep. So I always rub this into my skin right before bed because the aromas help me fall asleep and there's nothing better than like freshly moisturized skin against your sheets. So I do that every night before bed. So I'm gonna do that right now. So now that I've moisturized my whole body, I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom because if you don't pee before going to bed, that's weird. So I'm gonna pee and then I'll meet up with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so now that that's done, I take down my hair and I brush it. Cause see, it's, it looks deceivingly straight. Like it looks kind of straight, not knotty. And then you run the brush through it and you realize that it's definitely not not naughty. It's very naughty. Are you wearing your shirt? I'm wearing my shirt. It's Emergency rum. <laughs> wait, wait, what does it say? Emergency rum on the rum thing. Oh, there Next to the parrot. Welcome to Margaritaville. Welcome to Margaritaville, Planet Maria. <laughs> wait, do you like Margarita? Wait. What are you doing in here? I'm gonna leave now. I just wanna say goodnight. She gonna go. Uh oh, I'm sad. I don't know. G Nizzle. Love, love you, brother. Love you, brother. Love you. That was my sister. She's chill. But anyway, I'm brushing out my hair now. So I just do super loose braids and I make sure to tuck them behind my ears because that's how my my bangs look nice. If that makes any sense. So I'm gonna braid this. Normally I do my entire nighttime routine with my lights. Here I'll show you. Normally I do it like this because like lights are super stimulating to your eyeballs and they keep you awake for a longer time. So I normally do my night routine with my lights dim, but for the purposes of this video, I'm sacrificing my eyeball stimulation. I'm leaving my lights bright for you guys. You're welcome. So anyway, now I'm braiding my hair. Okay, so now that I look like a knockoff version of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, I'm gonna put in my retainers because my orthodontist told me my teeth wouldn't be straight without them. And I leave my bathroom for the night. Unless I need to come back to pee. Otherwise, that's when I come back. So now we're in the main bedroom space. And now I close my blind. Don't ignore all this stuff. But now I close my blind. So now stalkers come take pictures of me while I'm sleeping. And now 
is like the most basic part of my routine. I actually do some stretching because if you haven't watched my channel, you wouldn't know that I work out like an insane amount. I actually work out a lot and I do a lot of really intense exercise. I have such a bad whisk because of my retainer. Okay, we're just going to get past that. So I do a lot of crazy exercises, so I'm always sore. And I never stretch after my workouts because I can't be bothered to be at the gym for an extra five minutes. So I do my stretching at night and it actually really helps me to relax. If you can't tell from my videos and how I literally always pace around when I'm talking to you guys, I have a lot of nervous energy. I actually tend to have a lot of energy. Um, and working out is something that I like love and I need in my life because if I don't work out, then I'll literally be like this all day. But um, stretching at night helps me get out all the last bits of energy for the day before I go to bed. So I always do stretching before I go to bed because if I don't, I literally can't sleep. So now I do my stretching routine. It basically consists of a lot of and hip opening exercises because my hips are super tight. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now that I've done my stretching, I'm pretty much ready to go to bed. Sometimes I'll do like headspace. It's like a one minute meditation or it's actually three minutes. I'll do that before bed and I'll just like chill. But that's pretty much it for my nighttime routine, you guys. It's so simple. It's actually kind of boring, but that's it. That's pretty much all I do in the night. Now the only thing left to do is take off my socks because I'm not psycho. I'm not going to get into bed with socks on. And then go to bed but i'm gonna end this video before i get into bed this is the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and do all those fun youtube things because it really helps out my channel i also want to say thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers like that's freaking crazy you guys are awesome i love you all so much and you guys mean so much to me like it's honestly like love y'all you're the best anyway that's it for this video i post every monday at 3 p.m. So if you want to watch another video, make sure to come back at that time to watch one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you want to check out my playlist on Spotify, everything is linked down below. As always, I'll see you guys next Monday for my next video. Peace out, fam. Love you all. That was so corny. I love you all so much. Thank you.